What's up? It's Tone. How's everybody doing? Everybody having a good time? Enjoying the weather? Nice and cold today, Saturday, February. Yo, check it out. So I'm here with another show and tell video. Uh, hmm. Okay, first show and tell video um, to do for you is on this one. Stan Lee Mobius, The Silver Surfer, The Parable. Isn't that nice? It's a great cover. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Look at that. See that? There you go. There you go. Right there. Hot, right? So we'll do a little show and tell on that. Hope you enjoy it. It's coming right up. All right? Ain't going to talk a lot about it. But what I will say is, where the hell was I in 1988 when these came out? I missed them. 91. There's some nice stuff in here. I, I, yo, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the whole book all the way through, at least up to about 10 minutes of the book. So, if it finishes up in 10 minutes, then cool. If not, you'll have to buy it and look at it yourself. So, stick with me. Be right back. <laughs> Yo, this is kind of dope, man. You know, I don't, I don't know, bro. Where was I in 1988 when this came out? I have no idea. I know I had started working at the VA back in 1988. But I wasn't really collecting heavy back in 1988. I think I had took a big break in the 80s, man, because nothing was really catching my eye. I guess I, you know, that's all. That's the only thing I could say. Cause I know me. I'm a Silver Surfer fanatic. And if I had seen this book on the shelves, if I was doing any shopping, I would have definitely copped it, no question. But that's okay. I don't need the originals. I got what I need. I need to read the story, know the story. This is a nice piece, a nice collectible piece. It's worth having. So. guys check it out if anyone hasn't seen it living under a rock like me <laughs> you know this is a chance to check it out and if you like what you see here man you know what to do go cop it baby go cop this crop I'm a heavy Galactus fan heavy heavy Galactus fan I'm gonna be doing like, uh, keep an eye out, man. I'm gonna be doing um, a couple more of these, yo. Straight up. Two more of these I'm gonna be doing. I think the artwork is, I think it's nice, man. I mean, anybody who can put the, the stamp on it is, is good. You know, it depends on what kind of artwork you like and style you like, you know. I won't say it's my all-time favorite looking style of artwork for this particular character. And, but anyone's interpretation on it is nice. It's nice to see someone's interpretation of it. I think Moby's handled it well. A lot of times it's the same old, same old, man. That's a nice shot right there. Nice shot. Grab 
grab them and squash them. And squeeze them up. That's nice. I'll be honest, I never understood the, the I, maybe someone can help me out. I never understood the concept that if Galactus gave him the power, why can't Galactus simply take it away? Um, I need that explained to me. How Galactus makes a herald, a herald, gives him the cosmic force, cosmic power, they turn on him, but he's never, um, He's never actually took the power back from them. But I guess maybe that's something once given it can't be taken away. It just seemed, I, I always thought about that. I, 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 the first time I thought about that concept was, was in um, the Fantastic Four movie, uh, Rise of the Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer turns on him. And then I'm just saying, if he created him, why can't he just, you know, Uncreate them, just take it back. So I guess uh, maybe there's uh, there's rules to everything, man. Yeah. Oh, all right, they go to covers. See, look at them funky, funky covers, man. I'll tell you, if I would have seen that joint B, I would have been all over this joint, man. All over it. Look how beautiful that. That's beautiful, man. Beautiful. Concept art, I guess some inside dope. I think that's cool. This is Mobius's art on Daredevil and Electra. Yeah, that looks like Mobius. Yeah, he did his uh, version of Iron Man. Not feeling this part though. Punisher looks cool. Spider Man looks crazy right there. That shit, dope right there. Okay, not bad. Wolverine, yeah. again, not bad, not bad. Not bad at all. Nice, nice colors. Oh, is that full color? That's nice. was a straight up book. Oh shit. I've never seen that joint either. 91. Definitely missed that joint. That's a hot one right there. If you don't have that one in your collection, you should get it, bro. Especially with the upcoming movie getting ready to come out. That shit is sickening right there because you know with the with the Mobius movie coming out and the possibility of Mobius you know, making more appearances. Hopefully, he will in a Spider-Man in a Spider-Man Spider uh, movie for you collectors. You know, I mean, for you, you know, speculators. You know, little Spider. I know. I, I can. I, and I know for a fact. As soon as the movies, Mo, movies, movies was announced, 
I went to a comic book uh, to look for books. All the spot, every Spider-Man Mobius appearance book, every Mobius appearance, they're selling out. They're disappearing, man. The suckers are buying them up like fucking hot, buying up like hot kicks. You better get your copy. You know, if not, if if not, just for the, just for the sake of uh, collection purposes. So yo, there you go, man. Stanley Mobius. The Silver Surfer, The Parable, Show and Tell. If you like the artwork inside, yo, go grab one, man. I, I, I recommend it, though. I recommend it. It looks great. I can't wait to sit down and actually give it a nice read. So, yo, this is your boy Tone for Click for Comics. You know the saying. You know the motto. Collect them all. Peace.